I'm McGeauty, it's Alexander, and this week we're talking about um, telling people your preferred pronouns when you just come out. So for me, this is an interesting topic because I was really bad at telling people my preferred pronouns when I just came out, even till a lot later. It wasn't until I started seeing that I really started telling people that I just met or people that I didn't really know what my preferred pronouns were, because before that I was just scared to tell them, you know, because I was scared that they might not accept me or whatever. I just I just didn't talk to them about my being trans at all. But with my friends, I wasn't good either. Like before I came out, I told a group of my closest friends that I wanted to be called he him because I wanted to test it out because I wasn't sure at that point if I was trans or not and I wanted to find out. So I wanted to use those pronouns and see how it made me feel. And after I found out that I really liked he, him pronouns for me, I, I asked my friends to use those pronouns around other people so that other people would catch on and would start asking me about it, like, what's up with your pronouns? And then I would tell them, yes, I am trans, you know, I prefer he, him pronouns. It went, it went kind of like that. And some friends were really good at it from the start, at using my preferred pronouns. Um, some were really bad. When people would fuck up my pronouns, I would just, you know, the first time I would just correct them, I would just be like, no, it's he. and then just move on with the conversation, you know? But as the same people kept on fucking up my pronouns, after a while, I was just like, it's really important for me that you use the right pronouns because it really makes me feel bad when somebody misgenders me, and I really like for you to respect me in a way to just use the right pronouns. Just use the right pronouns. Because people don't often understand how just how important it is that they use the right, right pronouns for you. Because they don't understand the struggle of being misgendered. And when you really lay it down for them, it kind of clicks in their mind that it is not just something that you really, it really means something to you. They start really trying their best to use the right pronouns. But if you tell them that and they still don't use the right pronouns, they might not be the best friends. And that's what I've noticed. Like all the good friends, they really after that started using the right pronouns. And if they didn't, you know, most of those people I don't really hang out with anymore because the real the real important people in your life they care about how you feel so that's what I learned from that but with people with people that I didn't know it was just until recently until I started T so I'm almost a year ago that I really start started enforcing my pronouns so if somebody would misgender me at first before starting T I wouldn't say anything about it but starting T I I got more confident and I just wanted people to really use the right pronouns, so I would just tell them regardless, I just wanted them to use the right pronouns so I didn't care anymore. And most people were actually, I mean all people were actually really nice about it. So my advice to you is don't be scared like I was. Just tell people what your preferred pronouns are and ask people to really use them. And if they don't, just ignore them I guess, I don't know. Sometimes people are just assholes. Um, not everyone is nice and respectful but if they are you should keep those people around so that was my video for this week and um, i hope you have a great weekend and i'll see you again next week bye